Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we have a different kind of video. So uh, just a few days ago, I crossed the total base year rating of 3 million and I've been wanting to make an account tour and I feel like this is the best opportunity so that I let you guys know uh, all about all my rank ups, what I've done in the game and all that stuff, what I pulled. So first off, let's go for the roster. So the most important thing is or actually let's go for the prestige so my prestige is 14 8 90 and we still don't have relics so maybe that's going to ch change soon but this is my profile i got three rank fours in the profile and a doctor doom and i have five rank four champions so we got cgr which was my first one then we got joe fix it which, which was my second one karnak was my third one nimra was my fourth and molman was my fifth so we have uh, we have Nimrod right here. He is at Sig 200. Then we have Cosmic Ghost Rider. He's at Sig 70, 75. He doesn't really need the Sig Stones, but because he's like a rank 4, I want to take him up there soon. Uh, then we have Karnak. He's at Sig 200. He's my boy. And then we have Joe Fixit at Sig 200. And then also Molan is at Sig 100. So I want to take this guy up as well. I have some generic Sig Stones that I might use, especially now with the Battleground Store. You can easily get them. But yeah, that is my rank 4s. We got f uh, 5 rank 4s. And now let's get into the rank 3s. So I've got a, quite a few rank 3s. Uh, let me let me count them. So we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 34 rank 3s. And those are Dr. Doom, Miles, Omega Red is at 6200. Dr. Doom is at 6200. Miles is at 6200. Nick Fury is like 60. We got Claire, we got Terax, Hercules... Diablo, Falcon, Professor X, Gladiator, Hulk, Corvus, which was actually, I took him up yesterday in yesterday's level up event. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm excited for the new incursions, that which we're going to have uh, Sector 9. So Corvus is going to be a beast there. We got Aegon, Human Torch, Abomination, he's not awakened. Spatham is quite recent rank up as well. Hitmonkey, Apocalypse is a very recent uh, awakening. Warlock is my... Uh, it was before Corvus, my rank 3. So very, very new. Longshot, Nightcrawler, Craven. I actually duped him uh, my previous stream. So two to three days ago. Mephisto, Sigil, uh, Scarlet. Really amazing. Killmonger. Uh, took him to rank 3 very re recently as well. I think three levels before. <laughs> very cool. Uh, Black Cat, Penny Parker, Bishop, Null, Hulkbuster. Platinum Pool, which is putting in pretty good work man like with the uh, auto fighting and all that stuff uh especially when i uh, farmed up revives for abyss of legends which we're gonna get into after this we got hyperion magneto and hulk or i hulk right there and then we have some rank twos which i definitely want to take like some of them to rank three like i would say manga i want to take to rank three and then for rank ones uh, i definitely I uh, want to get up there, uh, Dragoman, I want to get up there. Archangel, I'm considering it. Sasquatch is awakened, but I don't think so. Like, he's not too suicide friendly, and you guys know I always use suicide masteries. I'm going to get into the masteries as well. We got Juggernaut right here. I want to take him up, uh, like, pretty pretty soon. He's a beast. Nova is a good defender. Blade is quite recent. So, yeah, there are some that I definitely want to take up. Tiger if I get her awakened. But yeah, that is it for my champions. Uh, I can show you my rank 5 five stars uh, really quickly. I don't really uh, still rank up 5 stars unless it's a crazy one. I think my previous, my, my last rank 5 was like, uh, I think Hercules. But yeah, those are my rank 5s. Not too bad. Now let's get into the master. So I run suicides 24-7, like no matter what. Unless it's like Abyss of Legends, which I can remove that. But yeah, those are my masteries. We got five of the precision right here and five of cruelty. Max out despair because it's a it's a very very good mastery. Running recoil and glass cannon at one and uh, liquid courage with double edge uh, maxed out, uh, of course. And then we have twenty one points here. Um, I really wouldn't like want to take like maybe this ma to maxed out, but I, you need some points to unlock willpower, so I kind of have to. And then I maxed out coagulate as well just to reduce that. Uh, initial bleed damage from the uh, uh, suicides and also it works great with champions that have resistance like Omega Red or Magneto like they have 95 and then that maxes it out so they don't take any damage 
I'm running 3 at a parry because it's really nice to reduce as much damage as you can. Because uh, on the first one, you reduce, I believe, 15, then it's 20 and 25. So it's really nice. Maxed out Limber, especially for Battlegrounds, but it's been putting it work even in Act 7, Act 8. Really, really good mastery. And then I have 3 on this, uh, obviously, to uh, increase my stun duration and dexterity. I don't really have any points in Pacify because it was messing me up. Like, you sometimes you don't want to reduce the ability accuracy of a node or one of your abilities. And it kind of messes you up. So, uh, I'm I always going to stick with this mastery setup. Like, it's it's a really good one for uh, Battlegrounds as well. Maybe I, run, I get another deck uh, unlocking it with a thousand units. And then it would be like one without Suzette Masteries uh, when I have to. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Now let's get into uh, the Abyss. What I've explored in the, or what I, I got from the Abyss. So uh, I actually had only one exploration, uh, or only one path explored in Abyss. And I did the Abyss challenge, the Abyss 100% uh, with the Karina challenges, which actually are not there because I completed them. And I literally finished my last one, which was this, the four star star one, uh, which was Labyrinth of Legends, by the way. And I literally did it like uh, three and a half weeks ago. So it's very, very uh, recent. And I got some pretty good stuff from the uh, Abyss. So I opened up, uh, let, let me show you the rewards. It was quite a few uh, six star shards. So we took uh, 30,000 six star shards. And I also had like another 30,000. So uh, we opened up six six star crystals. And I got two very good champions and one that i actually have a rank three now so the first one was star lord which was uh, a first time Groot was the first time which <laughs> pretty ironic and then I, I pulled a brand new hercules by far the best pull amazing i took him to rank three i think i awakened him as well with my gem uh really really sick and then i got craven which is actually a decent defender in bgs because uh with limber He's quite confusing to play, like if you pop a special one, the traps are over there, so he's pretty decent. I duped Ultron and I got some more sigs on Proxima. And then I will tell you what uh, we got from this mutant, or sorry, the Abyss Nexus Selector. I got mutant right there. Uh, and I'm gonna tell my, op my, my options, because it was a 10 pick Nexus, a very, very rare thing. So we got Iceman, Apocalypse, Storm Pyramid X, Captain Britain, Omega Red, Cyclops, Emma Frost, Namor, Havoc, and Wolverine X23. So my best options were definitely Iceman because I, I was using him in the line store because I was in Path 9. He's got some really sick immunities. Apocalypse was just an awakening, so I didn't really consider that. Uh, I considered Omega Red because he had he was sick 100 at that point, and he needs those six stones, and you know how good he is uh, with uh, suicides. But now he's sick to 100, and I didn't get him from there. Emma Frost was pretty decent awakening, but uh, one of my all-time favorites, and that's what I got, was Awakening Namor, which was like a very, very... It didn't really do too much uh, at that point, but once he, this guy gets to sick to 100, man, he is going to be a monster. Like, really, really good champion. Very suicide friendly as well. Uh, I, I really like Namor. And now, let's get into the act seven rewards so the first one we have is 7.2 uh, which is this one uh, we have a six star nexus crystal and from that i got a uh, hulkbuster sunspot and guillotine to a 99 three really solid champions like all of them would say are god tiers hulkbuster was first time awakening sunspot first time and guillotine to a 99 first time so guillotine to a 99 would be uh, would have been sick for defense because she is amazing with, because uh, she's immune to suicides. Sunspot is a beast of a champion, but I don't think he's very suicide friendly because you've got to pop those special ones. And there, and then I, I got Hulkbuster because Hulkbuster has a really good uh, regeneration while awakening. And that is basically who I got from 7.2, 100% rewards from that Nexus. Really, really good champion. Really happy about that. And then for Act 7.3, we have two Nexus Crystals. So the first one was really good. We had Spider-Gwen, Moon Knight, and Apocalypse. And my Apocalypse was new at that point. So 
really, really obvious. Picked up that Apocalypse. The second one, though, mm, it wasn't that great. The second one was Abomination, Loki, and Purgatory. And all of them were Awakened except Purgatory, so I had to go with the new champion. So, unfortunately, we got <laughs> Purgatory. So, yeah. Now, we have Act 7.4. What did I get from 7.4? And then we're going to go for the Fully Exploration uh, Act 7 rewards. So, right there, we picked up two, I believe, two uh, Nexus Crystals. And then I also had one. So, I picked up a Wasp, a Dragon Man, and... Oh, sorry, sorry. That was three regular Crystals, which were uh, some feature ones at this point. And I picked up Wasp as a new champion, Dragon Man as a new champion, and Nimrod first time awakening. And uh, Nimrod is right now a rank 4 at 6200, so I wasn't really too happy with that pull, because I was really hunting for Kitty Pride, like I still do. Uh, but he was a very good, uh, good pick from that feature crystal. So amazing right there. And then the big stuff. So we have uh, four Nexus crystals for Act Seven, one hundred percent rewards. Or sorry, five Nexus crystals. Uh, is it five? No, it is four. Four and a rank three to four gem, which would be my first rank four. So what I got from the Nexus is. I got more SIGs on Nimrod. He was SIG 100, I believe, at that point. We got a brand new Black Panther, not too bad. We got a brand new Mole Man, which is right now another rank 4. Amazing. Uh, it was the first time I, I got him, so really, really good. And then Havoc. Havoc is at rank 2 right now. And he's a decent defender. And then we also had, I believe, a, a Selector uh, Abyss, which I don't know where I got. Um... But yeah, that's the fifth Nexus, I guess. It was a mutant uh, Nexus. And it was great. It was a th three pick. So it was Storm Pyramid X from 620. Sunspot as a new champion and Sabretooth as a new champion. So I had to choose Sunspot. He's the god tier there. And then my 3 to 4 rank up gem was probably the best one I could have got. So my first uh, rank 4 champion was from that gem, Act 7 Fully Exploration. And it was a Cosmic. So. Uh, I, I was thinking like Hyperion or Null, but I totally forgot about CGR. And once I saw him, I instantly took him to rank 4. Best rank 4 I could ever ask. The best the best first rank 4 I could ever ask. He clears content so fast. He's really, really great in BGs. Like, such a monster. He finishes fights in like 17 seconds, 13 seconds. The only thing is not a good defender. But dude, as an attacker, he's probably the fastest uh, out there. And I really like like uh, exploring Act 7 and all that stuff. Uh, Uncollected Cavalier because he's like the fastest one. <laughs> so yeah, really, really amazing. And then lastly, we have a recent Act 8 content. So we got the Act 8.1 rewards. Uh, so what I got from there. We opened up quite a bit 6 shards. So I opened up a feature crystal. Uh, which was a Dark Hawk, which was mm, not the greatest. <laughs> not gonna lie, not the greatest. But uh, we opened up two Sixer Crystals, and we got a Beast and a Dupe on Apocalypse, which was very, very good. And actually, Dark Hawk was a dupe as well, so I'm considering I'm taking him up. And then also we had a Rank 4 on stream when I opened up those rewards, and it was another Rank Up gem. So it was a skill, and I used that skill gem uh, for that mole man because uh, I had some pretty good options. I had Karnak already and my options were uh, either Mole man or Nick Fury, but Nick Fury is he's he's probably the best attacker and defender for uh, Battlegrounds along with Penny Parker But he is not as suicide friendly as mole man is mole man has a lot of health He's got a lot of physical resistance and he's really tough to get openings uh, with. Because after 5 parries, he is purifying those, the uh, debuffs like half a second. So you don't have time. You can actually get parried. And he's a monster attacker as well. He's not as crazy as Nick Fury, but he's very close. And for suicides, I would say he's even better. So that is uh, my other rank 4 gem. The skill one, I used it on Mole Man. And that is pretty much it. Uh, I think we covered up pretty much uh, everything. But yeah, for as, as for rank 4s, I don't have one from each class. I have from 4 classes. I wanted it to be like uh, I have one from each class, class, but 
having two skills, I don't really mind because they are really good champions. Like Karnak, some would argue he's not great. And actually, I would argue if I wasn't using suicides, I wouldn't have taken up to rank four. But that healing that he's got, uh, combination with Limber is amazing. You're basically immune to stun. You cannot get parried at all because he reduces uh, the uh, duration of non-damaging debuff by, I believe, 60%. Uh, yeah, 60%. And poison effects by 65. And Limber maxed out reduces the stuns by 48%. So 48 plus 60 is over 100. So if there's like a defender that like parries and um, extend that stun duration, like maybe sun, Sunspot, we are basically never getting stunned. And as a defender, he's actually pretty tricky because... Even with the mastery uh, that increases your stun duration by 0.5 seconds, uh, stupefy, it's it's like tough. If he does a medium attack uh, and you parry, you actually don't have time to go in. And yeah, heavy attacks are not in play against Karnak because yeah, he you can definitely not uh, charge a heavy attack for sure. But yeah, man, that is my account. Uh, had it fun in um, making this video. Pretty you know, exciting. Uh, going back in my streams and checking out my rewards. Uh, really, really nice rank 4s. Like, the gems that I have are C were CGR and Moldan. The ones I basically don't choose because it's what the game gives me. And those are pretty solid champions, man. Not, like, no regrets. Joe Fix it actually, I forgot to mention. He's a rank 4. But, like, a few months ago, I didn't even have him as a 6 star. I actually grinded him with the arena twice. So, went in got him uh, it wasn't that big of a cutoff but it was still pretty crazy i didn't have to spend units i believe but i i put up a pretty big score and then second uh round of the arena actually i think it got more points than the first one because i was scared like people might have saw like he was low so let's just get him and i duped him from there i sigged him up because he actually needs the sigs uh quite a bit and that's why he was my second rank four man he was such a crazy champion such a great uh adventure uh, with joe fix it and yeah i'm pretty happy so yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like subscribe and i will see you in the next one